Here we are, UC Davis students setting out on the Tuolumne River. California's climate is much like the Mediterranean. Summers are very dry, and almost all rain and snow falls in the winter. The Tuolumne River is in Northern California's Sierra Nevada mountain range. The river begins at 13,000 feet from Lyle Glacier in Yosemite National Park and winds down into California's Central Valley, eventually reaching the San Francisco Bay. Every drop of rain or flake of snow that lands on this watershed will eventually find its way to the Tuolumne River. This takes time, though. A storm will not flood the river until a few hours later because all the water takes time flowing through soil and over rocks to reach the river. The Tuolumne River is now dammed by O'Shaughnessy Dam that creates Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. This is the water supply for the city of San Francisco and has been since 1923. This is a hydrograph. It shows how much water flows down a river each month. On the vertical axis is the amount of water running down the Tuolumne. On the horizontal axis is time. You can see the large flood pulses that used to occur in a natural setting that no longer exist with the dam. Dams block the natural floods that occur every year. This has changed the riverbed downstream. The riverbed is also called the hyporheic zone, where groundwater and river water mix, aquatic insects live, and fish lay eggs. Without the natural floods, the hyporheic zone fills with sand and silt. If the hyporheic zone is filled, there is no habitat for insects and fish that use that area to live and breed. The hyporheic zone is very important to the entire ecosystem because it provides habitat for the base of the food web, the aquatic insects. Fish, birds, and rodents all eat insects, like dragonflies, and other small animals like tadpoles that grow up in the small spaces between rocks on the riverbed. We can examine the availability and quality of this insect habitat by doing pebble counts that characterize the size and distribution of the rocks on the riverbed. By comparing the pebble counts between the Tuolumne River, which is dammed, and the Clavey River, which is undammed, we can see if the O'Shaughnessy Dam has altered the hyporheic zone. With so many people and animals wanting this water, how do we maximize the natural water we have left? Do we let more water flow down from the dam for fish and insects? Do we put the water to use growing our food and quenching our thirst? We have changed our environment, and the ecosystem has changed in response. We can control where the water goes, but the real question is, what will we do with it?